lurks in the hearts of men. <laughs> the shadow knows. This is Dr. Gustavus Elementary School in Waldorf, Maryland. No drugs are allowed, no pets are allowed, but straight through down this road to this path is the house of Keith Green. This is Channel 9's Bruce Lashan. Right here, Green's house, where he is living, literally just right back there, just the other side of the playground. But a spokesman for Maryland's Department of Public Safety and Corrections tells me there are no rules that automatically prevent a child killer or abuser from moving in right next to a school. This is Keith Green. He was sentenced to 30 years in prison for attacking, trying to rape, and murdering 13-year-old Claudia Pickerel in St. Mary's County. Now he's living next to the elementary school in Charles County. He's on a Maryland sex offender registry, and he is living in this group home, located with a backyard adjacent to the school. This is Claudia Pickerel, who he murdered. This is Keith Green the day after the murder as he watches the police scour the scene. This is another close-up of him. He was initially taken into custody for uh, questioning by Sergeant Carter on a right with the St. Mary's County Sheriff's Department. The next day, this is the parents of Claudia Pickerel who was murdered. This is Bruce Lashan 20 years ago interviewing a witness who found the body. This is Sheriff Richard Vohar on the left, Major Gary Rock Cox on the right. This is Bruce Lashan interviewing Sergeant Carter. They brought the police academy out to look for clues. They spent the day scouring the murder scene area. On the right is Sergeant Doolin, who was put in charge of the investigation, they took the black detectives off the investigation while the community held vigils and demanded answers and wanted to know why Sergeant Carter was taken off the investigation. They held uh, marches and, and had the state's attorney, Walter Dorsey, shown there, along with other officials coming out demanding answers. And Meanwhile, Sheriff O'Hara, he took the investigators that could have closed the case in two days off. Finally, the state police came in and took over the case. After a year and a half, they got the evidence together they needed to bring the case to trial. This is Keith Green's house, and shortly after the murder, his house was the subject of an arson fire. Go to thechesapeaketoday.com for the complete story and check back in for the latest developments.